The world was underprepared when the coronavirus outbreak occurred. Now experts are working to ensure we are ready if history repeats itself. Avian influenza, or bird flu as it's more commonly known, is spreading worldwide with outbreaks affecting every continent except for Australia and the Antarctic. And a warning some viewers may find some of the following images disturbing. Some experts believe it's the worst outbreak in history. We've seen these outbreaks happening since the mid 90s. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen it to this extent though. It's extremely widespread and uh, has gone to parts of the world where we've never seen the virus before. Experts are reporting the H5N1 strain of bird flu is responsible for the deaths of over half a billion poultry. 300 different species of wild bird are also believed to be affected and the death toll projected to be in the millions. We have not seen as many birds die as we have seen really in the last year or so. While the impact on birds and poultry is significant, the recent spread to mammals has experts alarmed. It's a very widespread uh, uh, number of mammals that have been infected, which probably reflects the breadth of the uh, global spread of this virus, that it's so common and it's in so many places. And seeing how easily the virus was able to jump into mammals um, is a bit concerning. But it's an outbreak of the avian-borne virus at a mink farm in Spain that is raising red flags. Program leader and executive director of infectious disease development at Moderna, Rafael Nakbagawa, says there is evidence the disease has evolved to become capable of transmission between mammals. To the extent that it's possible to confirm it by looking back at the sequence data, there is fairly strong evidence that the outbreak that occurred in minks included some mammal-to-mammal -mammal transmission. The reason this type of transmission is so concerning is that it indicates changes or mutations within the virus not seen before. While experts believe human-to-human -human transmission is still a long way off, this avian-borne virus could have the potential to cause the next pandemic. Currently, there has been no documented cases of human-to-human -human transmission, and the World Health Organization's current risk rating to humans is low. However, countries must prepare for any change to the status quo. We're actively following the epi data around the current outbreaks and we're making sure that we were, would be able to respond quickly with an update to our vaccine antigens if the current situation would worsen. With the outbreak overseas showing no sign of abating and migratory birds due to return toward the end of the year, there is an increased risk the virus could make its way to Australia's shores. Christy Lloyd, Sky News.